It's God Fortune is my portion in 2024. Jeremy rise this morning. Let's celebrate God again. And give him thanks that is due unto him. He has brought us again into his house to bless us. Let's say, Father, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory. What a good God that we serve this morning. Let's say, Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for his faithfulness. Thank you for his love. Thank you for his good hand over us. Father, we celebrate you. We thank you from the depth of our heart. We appreciate you, Lord, for bringing us again into your presence. Lord, we celebrate you. Thank you and thank you and thank you. Appreciate him and magnify him. Father, we bring praise unto you this morning. We celebrate you because we slept, we are woke. All because you sustained us. We thank you from the depth of our heart for all the good things that you have done. Father, we say thank you. The Lord our God in our midst has been mighty. It is a good thing to bring thanks to him. And that is why we are in his presence this morning. Why not celebrate him, give him thanks, and give him praise. Forget not this morning all of his benefits and celebrate him. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise and we give you glory. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. There is fullness of joy this morning in the presence of the Most High God. Why not celebrate him, give him thanks, and give him praise? Father, we have appeared before you. We ask for the spirit of grace and supplication. Let it be released afresh upon us this morning. We desire an encounter by your word this day. Let it come like a torrent. Let it come like never before. It sent forth the word, and that word healed and deliver them from all of their destructions. Father, send me my word this morning again. Let your word light my path. Let your word set me on my feet this day. Let God hear your voice. Let God hear your voice. It's a call. I will answer you. And I will show the great and mighty things which thou knowest not. The showing God is in the house this morning. Wave your hands to him and appreciate him. Celebrate him. Give him thanks. Give him praise of all that God is set to do in our midst this morning. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise and we give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus' precious name we have given thanks. Why not lift up your hands to heaven, wave it to God as we make welcome the praise team.
Jesus. Buy it, buy it, sing cozy, buy it, King of Kings, buy it, buy it, sing cozy, buy it, sing cozy. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. We'll rise shortly to commence our intercessory prayers with this prayer line. Father, in the name of Jesus, let every barrier standing in the way of the return of any challenge winner to this church be brought down this month. In Psalm chapter 24 and verse 7, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Please join me this morning and rise on your feet as we begin to engage. Saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every barrier standing in the way of the return of any challenge winner to this church be brought down this month. Lift up your voice and let the Lord hear your voice of intercession of Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that every barrier standing in the way of the return of any challenge winner to this church be brought down this month in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord hear your voice of intercession this morning our Father. This is a heart cry this morning that every barrier standing in the way of the return of any winner be destroyed this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. 
You have said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against thee. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, all demonic gates, all demonic barrier standing the way of the return of any challenge winner to this church be brought down even this month in the name of Jesus Christ. Is the Lord still hearing your voice of intercession as you pray in your understanding? Equally pray in the Holy Ghost, our Father. This is a heart cry this morning that every barrier standing in the way of the return of any challenge winner to this church be brought down even this month in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice this morning and pray heartily. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever perpetual hill, whatever everlasting mountain standing on the return of any challenge winner, be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning. Someone is praying in the Holy Ghost. He's equally praying even in understanding this morning. Our Father, this is a heart cry this morning that every barrier, all demonic gang up, all demonic orchestration standing on the return of any challenge winner be destroyed this morning in the name of of Jesus Christ. Someone pray heartily. Now begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Le kotanato shatia le krodo. Ene no shatana mo shantia le prato. Ket koliali e kotarato shandalo shaprote. Ne sotiale e gozoziale prande. E ro shataliale brado santaniane. E kokaliana amontaliale. E kotarade shantano shantiale protozalialeba. E korade. As the demonic gates are falling, we see all challenge winner rushing in back to this church in the name of Jesus Christ. Leko Sotiala. Now push through some more in the Holy Ghost. Bokaniate, e kotoratiate satiane, e zozoziale, e poradia de shantano sato la brade, ne kotalialeba. Ne kosota ambo sotara e koto natania to shaba e bozo zianiana. Now lift up your hands, lift up your voice, appreciate him some more, give him glory, give him honor, because it is done in Jesus' wonderful name. We have prayed. Please be seated. Give Jesus a big hand. In a moment again, we shall rise to pray. This segment we are saying, Father. Turn every winner into an effective laborer on the harvest field, resulting in the invasion of record-breaking multitudes into this church this month. Let's say a better amen. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 38. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Please let's rise as we pray. Saying, Father, turn every winner into an effective laborer on the harvest field. Resulting in the invasion of record-breaking multitudes into this church this morning. Lift up your voice. Uh, that's our prayer focus right now. Father and our God, uh, turn every single winner. Turn every winner, male, female, young and old, uh, into an effective laborer on the harvest field. Uh, resulting in the invasion of record-breaking multitudes uh, into this church this month. Lift up your voice. Ensure you are praying. Let's cry out to God with faith. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, we are asking that you turn every winner, every winner on the go, every winner on the harvest field, turn every single winner into effective laborers on the harvest field, resulting in an invasion of record breaking multitudes, abiding multitudes into this church this month lift up your voice that's our prayer focus we are placing a demand heaven is responding swiftly every winner every single winner turned into an effective laborer 
on the harvest field this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lift up your voice. Someone pray some more this morning. Be yet fervent, you are praying with passion, you are crying out with faith. Our Father and our God, turn every winner, male and female, every single winner, both the young and the old, into an effective laborer. Make our engagement productive. Make every winner resourceful on the harvest field all through this month and beyond, resulting in massive invasion of record-breaking multitudes into this church this month. Lift up your voice. Someone preach some more this morning. You are yet fervent. You are crying out with faith. Every winner being turned into an effective laborer on the harvest field, on the go hunting for souls, on the prayer altar. Our Father, turn every single winner into an effective laborer on the harvest field this month like never before. Lift up your voice. Uh, someone pray some more this morning. Ensure you are pouring out your heart. Uh, you are crying out with faith uh, this month of April. Our Father, turn every winner, that includes you and I, uh, into effective laborers uh, on the harvest field, uh, productive laborers uh, on the harvest field, uh, therefore resulting uh, in the invasion of record-breaking and abiding multitudes uh, into the kingdom, into this church, uh, even this month. Uh, someone pray some more. You can part this prayer, but in understanding uh, and also in the language of the spirit, uh, but ensure you are crying out with faith. Uh, you are placing a demand uh, with guarantee of answers. Uh, every winner, every single winner being turned uh, into effective laborers uh, on the harvest field uh, this month. Uh, pray some more. Someone engage with passion. You are crying out to God. You are traveling on the prayer altar. Our Father and our God, we are asking this month, turn every winner, turn every winner into an effective laborer. Make our engagement productive. Make us resourceful on the harvest field, on the go, hunting for souls all through this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, someone pray some more this morning. You are pouring out your heart. Uh, you are traveling uh, on the prayer altar. Every single winner being converted into effective laborers uh, on the harvest field. Uh, our engagement productive. Our engagement resourceful. Even this month uh, resulting uh, in the invasion. Massive invasion of multitudes uh, like we have never seen. Uh, invasion of record breaking and abiding multitudes uh, into this church this month. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now let's begin to appreciate him. Let's give him thanks and praise. He has heard us this morning and he has answered. Our Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please give Jesus a big hand and be seated. Next, we'll be rising to pray. We're saying, Father, give all our new converts and new members of this prophetic season a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see, thereby establishing them in this church for life. John chapter 9 at verse 25. He answered and said, whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know is that whereas I was blind, now I see. Please rise up with me this morning as we lift up our voices. We are praying our Father in the name of Jesus. Give all our new converts and all our new members of this prophetic season a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see, thereby establishing them in this church for life. We are desiring this morning that every new convert at first time in this church have a definite encounter with Jesus Christ. Our Father, give all our new converts and all our new members of this prophetic season a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see. Our God and our King, our desire this morning is that every new convert have an encounter of a life-changing testimony. Let it be in the name of Jesus. Once I was sick, now I'm made perfectly whole. Once I was jobless, now I'm gainfully employed. Now I was caught, once I was called barren, now I'm a joyful mother and father of children. 
Our Father, a destiny turning around testimony. Give it to all our new converts and all our new members of this prophetic season. Our Father, this is a season of our appearing. Appear to all our new converts. Appear to all our new members of this prophetic season and deliver to them their long desired testimony, thereby establishing them in this church for life. Our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray this morning that you give to all our new converts and all our new members of this prophetic season a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see, thereby establishing them in this church for life. Our Father, we desire that every of our new convert and new member have a life advancing testimony this season. Give it to them all in the name of Jesus. Give all our new converts, give all our new members of this prophetic season a definite life turning testimony. Once I was blind, now I can see. I was jobless, now I'm gainfully employed. I was homeless, I am fully settled thereby establishing them in this church for life. He was a wanderer. Now he's settled in the house of God. He was hopeless, but the beauty and glory of God is over his and her life. Our Father, give all our new converts and all our new members of this prophetic season a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see, thereby establishing them in this church for life. In the name of Jesus Give to all our new converts and all our new members of this prophetic season a definite life turning around testimony. Once I was blind, now I can see a testimony that cannot be explained but cannot be denied. Father, give it to all our new converts, all our new members of this prophetic season. Once I was blind, now I can see a testimony of the hours that brings amazement and belief in God, thereby establishing them in this church for life. That's our desire this morning, that every of our new converts and all our new members of this prophetic season return with a life-changing testimony, thereby establishing them in this church for life. A testimony that will settle them here. A testimony of rest round about. A testimony of peace from heaven. A testimony of advancement of destiny. Oh God, give it to all our new converts and new members of this prophetic season. Thereby establishing them in this church for life. It's our desire this morning. Our God that every new convert and every new member of this prophetic season return with a life changing testimony. Thereby establishing them in this church for life leto mena katabaran take it is and tamana kapatole and no make to riandana kama nanto e pele nene matali gabadadosko ele mashanda dana kataba now lift up your hands wave them to heaven father we are grateful in jesus holy name we are praying hands together for jesus and please be seated Shortly we'll be rising up again as we pray in this manner. Father, let every cell in this church be empowered to replicate minimum once before the end of the first hour of this year. Jeremiah 30 and verse 19, And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Please, let's rise. Together, let's pray. Father, let every cell in this church be empowered to replicate minimum once before the end of the first half of this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice, everyone, and together let's go before the Lord with the whole of our hearts. Father, let every cell in this church be empowered to replicate minimum once before the end of the first half of this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, our God and our King, we ask of you this morning, empower every cell to replicate Minimum once before the end of the first half of the year 2024 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning. Let's pray with the whole of our heart. Let's engage with all fervency this morning. Almighty God, let every cell in this church be empowered to replicate minimum once before the end of the first half of the year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Let it be, Almighty God, this is your agenda for the year 2024. Therefore, Almighty God, cause every cell in this church to be empowered for replication. Minimum once before the end of the first half of the year 2024, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we lift up our voice unto you this morning, Almighty God, hear us and hearken unto us. Cause every cell in this church to receive empowerment from on high for replication. Minimum once before the end of the first half of the year, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hear us this morning, Lord Jesus. Hear us this morning, Lord Jesus, and hearken unto us. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, let your empowerment come upon every cell for replication minimum once before the end of the first half of the year 2024. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let it be Almighty God. Let it be Almighty God. Let every cell in this church, O oh Lord God, be empowered to replicate minimum once before the end of the first half of the year in the mighty name of jesus christ let it be lord jesus let it be lord jesus you say you will multiply them and they shall not be few therefore almighty god let the grace for multiplication come upon every cell in this church in the mighty name of jesus christ leading to minimum the birth of one cell before the end of the first half of the year 2024 in the mighty name of jesus christ Pray with the whole of your heart this morning. Engage with all fervency this morning. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let your voice be registered in heaven this morning. Pray. Let the Lord hear you. Pray with the whole of your heart. Father, we ask of you this morning, cause every cell in this church to be empowered to replicate minimum once before the end of the first half of the year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this is our heart cry, O oh Lord God. Let the impact of this prayer answer upon every cell speedily and instantly. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, empower every cell. Empower every cell in this church to replicate minimum once before the end of the first half of the year 2024. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it be our God and our King. A combo te telo bra kampo te telo a an zokem batale e kwamba tatalo bro combo ze zelo e kemba atolo mbra kambo te telia a zoagam bata e loale lembra kambo te telo e zoagem bata kembo te telo bra kambo te telia. Let it be our God and our King that every cell in this church shall be empowered to replicate minimum once before the end of the first half of the year 2024. Lift up your hand and give him thanks. A prayer hands to God. Jesus, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Put those hands together for him and please be seated. We shall be rising to pray shortly and we're saying, Father, let the master reaper angel take over our harvest field with a sharp sickle thereby reaping multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Say a louder amen. amen. Revelations 14 and verse 14, he said, I looked and behold, upon a cloud sat one with a crown on his head and with a sharp sickle in his hand. And in verse 16, he said, immediately he cast the sickle, the whole earth was ripped. Shall we rise on our feet and lift our voices before the Lord as we pray this morning? Father, in the name of Jesus, let the master reaper angel take over our harvest field with a sharp sickle, thereby reaping multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Lift your voice and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. You are praying in faith. You are praying with confidence. You are calling upon the name of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the master reaper angel take over our harvest field. Let him take over Lagos or Tanor, the environs. Every one of our 92 WSF areas across the entirety of our harvest field, let the master reaper angel cause his sharp sickle to encompass every one aspect of our harvest field. Your word said he cast the sickle and the whole earth was filled, was, was ripped. Lord, let the sickle be cast, let all of Lagos be ripped. Let the sickle be cast, let all of Ota be ripped. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, let the multitudes begin to rush into this church this coming Sunday. Let them come invading every one of our services in the name of the Lord Jesus. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. You are praying in faith and confidence. You are engaging all of your heart as you are calling upon the name of the Lord. My Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Master Reaper Angel take over our harvest field with a sharp sickle, thereby reaping multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Lord, this Sunday, let there be a holy invasion. By the oppression of the Master Reaper Angel, with one swipe, the entire earth was ripped. Therefore, with one stroke of the sickle, let the entirety of Lagos, every community, every locality, every street, every lane, let it be ripped by the power of your might. In the name of Jesus, by one stroke of the sickle, let the entirety of utter be ripped. In the name of Jesus Christ, every environment, every nook, every cranny, all the streets, all the lanes, all the highways, all the hedges, let them be ripped into your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your voice and make sure you are praying from the depth of your heart. You are praying this prayer full of faith. You are praying this prayer full of confidence. You are calling upon the name of the Lord and you are doing so full of faith. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, let the Master Reaper Angel take over our harvest field with a sharp sickle, thereby ripping multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. As the Master Reaper Angel takes charge, let the multitudes flow in from every nook and every cranny, from every street and every lane, from all the highways and all the hedges. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. You are praying this prayer full of faith. You are praying this prayer full of confidence. You are calling upon the name of the Lord. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, let the Master Reaper Angel take over our harvest field with a sharp sickle, thereby ripping multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Why not pray that prayer from the depth of your heart? Make sure you are engaging your faith. Make sure you are calling upon the name of the Lord. Make sure you are doing so with all of your heart. My Father and my God, let the Master Reaper Angel take over our harvest field with a sharp sickle, thereby ripping multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Engage the language of the Holy Ghost. Liba kato predekento safarake ikata klaketo sania embanka labaratala elebele keto siata embanka talo eferia katala banato e preketoshi ilia katandele embrankolia patala labrakato sefredia kada embanko pradia katala esolite esolite perika labrante leketo sevredia lift up your hand to heaven glorify god this morning lord jesus we say thank you in jesus precious name we have prayed Give Jesus a big hand. Please, you may be seated. Praise the Lord. Now it's time for personal supplication. A time when we have the opportunity to go before the Lord on a one-on-one -on -one basis, on a personal basis, to speak to him as our Heavenly Father, and make known unto him our requests, our desires, areas of our lives where we require divine intervention. As we do so this morning, we shall all return with answers in Jesus' name. And let's remember to also make priority kingdom matters and then any other personal issue of our lives. Our anchor scripture today shall be from 1 John 5, 14. This is the confidence we have in him if we ask anything, anything, anything at all anything according to his will or according to his word he heareth us this morning god will hear us please rise up on our feet lift up your voice unto god or take any position that will help you at this time to approach the almighty god and commune with him and fill up your own ticket right now with god take advantage of this moment Take advantage and let heaven hear you right now as we call.
Now let's begin to perfect our prayer in the Holy Ghost. Please rise upon your feet right now. Lift up your voice to the prayer answering God confidently now. Maroba gatada. Era ma moli mago ya gatatara. Eda bori ma moli akasatara. E kakato paporada e gadaya. Alima moraba katada. Erima mokasho e geteporia. Alaga toprabaga. Ela morama kosata. Ne katoria. Babara makoteria. Akokata. Abobara mana. Akokasa taboria. Lift up your right hand to God right now. Let's glorify his name for answered prayers. Do that confidently. Do that from the depth of your soul. Give him praise and glory. Father, we thank you for answer prayers even now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You can make it louder. Please take your seat. Put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate Jesus some more this morning. It is testimony time. Amen. Please. Let's listen to the following documented testimonies, and you shall return blessed this morning in Jesus' name. Number one, miracle job via post-resurrection encounter. For months, I trusted God for a miracle job. I had sent my application to some organization, but I never got any response. However, when Bishop David Oyedepo declared the 40 days post-resurrection encounter, I key into it, and Jesus show up. Put your hands together for Jesus. On the 38th day, I got a job, I got a job offer from one of the top organizations in the U.S. I have resumed the job, and I've come to return all the glory to God. The testifier is Taiwo Suleiman. Put your hands together for Jesus. Number two, delivered from smoking, drinking, and drug addiction. For five, five years ago, my friends my friend introduced me to smoke, smoking him, drinking, and taking drugs. Gradually, things began to change in my life. I stopped listening to my parents and stopped going home as usual. Any money I got, I wasted it with friends on drugs and drinks. As a result, the building I started was put on hold. My mother, who is a member of this church, pleaded with me to come to church. I reluctantly went to church for covenant hour of prayer. Then I heard the bishop said, you cannot put God first and not emerge first in all areas of life. You cannot continue in hard, bad habits and expect to make waves in life. He further said, many lives are trapped in the habit of smoking and drinking. Many destinies are caged by our behaviors, and that is why we cannot witness for Christ effectively. I was restless because I knew he was talking to me. I gave my life to Christ. Thereafter, I became consistent in covenant hour of prayer and other church services. Put your hands together for Jesus. A week later, I was called for a, contact, a contract, and I gain, and the gain I made surprised me. My building that was stagnated for over three years is at the completion level. Amen. This is happening within three weeks of submitting to God of this commission. Now, I no longer smoke, drink, or take any drugs. Are you putting your hands together for Jesus? Please make it bigger and stronger for him. My life is better, and things are working well for me. My God bless my father, Bishop David Oedepo. I return all the glory 
to God of this commission. The testifier is Chijoke M. Who is the doer of all these testimonies? Shall we rise on our feet? Put your hands together for Jesus this morning. Make it bigger and stronger for him. Put your hands together. Make it bigger and bigger for him this morning. Hallelujah. Let's give God thanks again this morning. Let's lift our voice and our hands to him. Appreciate the name for his faithfulness, his goodness. He has brought us again into his presence. To him, the hands of prayers shall all flesh come. And we have come. We have prayed. He has heard us. He has answered us. For the testimonies that he gave us again today, miracle job via post-resurrection encounter, delivered from smoking and all of those addictions. Let's give God all the glory. Our Father, we thank you. Will you now let's go ahead and ask God this morning for an appearance in his word. Lord, appear to me by your word again this morning. Lord, my eyes are on you. Speak to me. Lord, my eyes are on you. And I thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Father, we thank you for answering our prayers this morning and for the testimonies of your faithfulness. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Lord, our eyes are on you for your word. Appear to us again this morning and let your name be glorified in Jesus' precious name. And all the people of God say loud, Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Give Jesus another big hand of praise. He's worthy. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen and amen. It's my privilege given to me by God and my father this morning to bring us a word of exhortation. My prayer is, you shall be blessed. Thank you, sir. Our father started us on the subject by bleaker requirements towards a counter with the resurrected Christ. Biblical requirements towards encounters with the resurrected Christ. My prayer this morning again is that somebody will encounter Christ in this post-resurrection season in the name of Jesus Christ. Others have testified, we shall also testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 1 and verse 3 has been our rider scripture. Our God or Christ appeared with many infallible proofs after his passion, and he did that for 40 days, which days we are in. And truly also, we shall have our own encounters in Jesus' name. As a way of reminder, encounters with God is real. As we have been told, and nothing makes life count like encounters. The more encounters a man has, the more his life counts. The Lord sent a word into Jacob, and it has lighted upon Israel. 1 Samuel 3.21, God appeared again in Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. And this God has not changed. Malachi 3.6, if he has not changed, if he appeared before, then that means he's still appearing again. He will appear to you this time in Jesus' name. But an encounter has been defined as God revealing himself to us on issues of interest to us. God revealing himself on issues of interest to us. We go to God positioning ourselves based on issues of interest and he shows up to us bringing his plan and agenda to us making known his cancer to us that's what is called an encounter and that means with God revealing himself to us our lives can no longer be hidden because whatever God shows a man like our father said it on Monday, we show us to our world. There is somebody that is about to be reviewed here this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. But every encounter, genuine encounter, never leaves you the same. 
it opens a new chapter in the life of the believer. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 18 makes that clear. And we all with open face. He said, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, we are changed. So as we behold, we see him, then we are changed by him. So encounters brings about new chapters. It brings about changes in the lives of people. Just as we are about experiencing our own change this time in the name of Jesus Christ. However, more often than not, encounters do not just happen. Encounters are prepared for. When Jesus was living, after speaking to his disciples, appearing to them, and he ascended, we understood that they went, Acts chapter 1 and verse 13 and 14, they went straight into the upper room, and they continued with one accord in prayers. They were there in prayer and supplication, preparing for the encounter. In Revelation 1, 9 and 10, John had to go to the island of Patmos for the word of the Lord. And then he got an encounter. Encounters are prepared for. Not only that, encounters are positioned for. Zacchaeus had to run to climb beside a sycamore tree. According to Luke 19, 1 to 5, to see Jesus. He positioned himself for it. Our father, I mean God's servant, our resident pastor said to us, on Tuesday, that our disposition matters a lot to our position. He went and climbed. He positioned himself for that encounter. Not only that, they are desired. To have an encounter, you must desire it. Without a desire, no encounter. Psalm 63, 1 and 2, David said, Early will I seek thee, my soul tested for thee. My flesh longed for thee in a dry and testy land to see your power and your glory. And he saw it. It is your turn to see in the name of Jesus Christ. But what are the requirements? We have looked at few since the week began. Let's take two more this morning. Number one, one must engage in prayer of inquiries. Prayer is key to having encounters. And just like we said, immediately after Jesus appeared and spoke to them and told them about the Holy Ghost that was coming upon them, they went into the upper room and prayed. It was in the prayer. They continued in that prayer, and according to Bible scholars, for 50 days, and then the Holy Ghost came on the day of Pentecost. And that came upon them. The encounter came to them. And then every one of them got their dose of it. So they were in prayers. We need the attitude of prayer this time, in this season, in order to catch our encounter. But what kind of prayer? There is one particular aspect of prayer that opens you quickly to encounter. And that is praying a prayer of inquiries. A prayer that seeks to know from the Lord. A prayer that seeks to have answers from the Lord. A prayer of inquiry is a prayer that seeks to get light from the Lord. Not going to God to bombard them. Not going to complain. Not going to demand for our rights. No. But a prayer that puts us in a place of wanting to know. And one thing with God, our Father taught us, is a question answering God. It's a question answering God. Every time we ask him, he answers us. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. He said, call unto me and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things which you know not. Remember we define encounter initially as God revealing himself to us on issues of interest to us. So we call on him based on issues of interest to us and he appears to us to show us what to do. That is it. When we call, it shows. Second Samuel chapter 5, we see here from verse 18 to 19, how the Philistines came to David to fight. And David went and inquired of the Lord. Shall I go up without delivering them into my hands? These are the questions he was asking. And the Lord said unto David, go up. 
For I wish doubtless deliver the Philistines into their hand. And again in verse 22, they came again. The enemies came again. And what happened here, David didn't go back to God to complain like many of us would do. David went back to God. They came again. David went again to show that we serve a question answering God that is always willing and always ready to answer us when our heart is genuine. And so David asked again and God spoke again. This time, God will answer your questions in the name of Jesus. Do you know that the unstoppable growth of this church came via an encounter precipitated by questions. Our father said, why is this church not growing? That was the question. And then he went to God, three days of prayer and fasting. Why is this church not growing? That was the question. And then on the third day, the Lord appeared to him. Show them the thick layer of cloud over the church. Told them what to do as he commanded it. And then gave him three quick instructions. And these instructions are being traded with it today. And imagine since 1980s. The church has kept growing unstoppably so. Why? Because of right question. Is somebody asking God, what about my soul when you endeavor? How, what, Lord, why are my souls not staying? Why are they not abiding? Why am I not being effective? Ask. Prayerfully. And then the Lord will answer. Number two, this morning, one must be in active service for the Lord. You want an encounter? Be in active service for the Lord. Acts chapter 22, 17 and 18. Paul, the apostle, prayed. He was in prayer in the temple and then fell into a trance. And then the Lord came, verse 18, and spoke to him. Get out of here. You want an encounter? You must be in active service. He went there to serve. And then as he was praying, the Lord showed to him, I mean, spoke to him. Also, again, in the testimony of our father, he was about the welfare of certain brethren. He went looking for them. And that was when he encountered the mandate. Didn't see them? And then the Lord appeared to him. Get into a quiet place. I want to talk with you. The mandate was delivered. There is somebody, as you are serving the Lord this time, in prayer, in soul winning, seeking the face of God for the advancement of the kingdom. God will show up concerning your own destiny in the name of Jesus. And finally this morning, one God can manifest himself to us anywhere and at any time. Please take note of this. God can manifest himself to us anywhere at any time. He manifests to Paul and Silas inside prison. According to Acts chapter 16, 25 and 26. So it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what the situation may be like. If only you will watch you will encounter him. Anywhere is God's place. It's not the place. It's where we are standing. It's our disposition, like we are told. And then the Lord will speak to you. The Lord will appear to you. I don't know what that situation is, but I want you to know that God is even much more interested in appearing to you and showing you the way out of it. This time, you will see God in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we rise to our feet and receive grace to maintain our service in him? Let's ask for grace again this morning. Grace to keep serving, to keep seeking his face. Grace to maintain the place of prayer, to keep our watch in order for us to have our counter. Go ahead and pray this morning. Let's receive grace this morning. Let's give, let's receive grace this morning. Lord, grant unto us grace. Grant unto me in particular grace. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus, we have prayed. As we have asked of him grace this morning, that grace is made manifest in each one of our lives. For every question we present, there will be swift answers. And just as the answer to the growth of this church has kept speaking 40 years now, for each one of us, the answers we receive from the Lord will keep speaking all the days of our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. It is done. Now begin to make your declarations concerning the day 
begin to command the happenings of the day. This is our second day in our week of spiritual emphasis. After two days, it will revive us. This is a day of reviving, spiritual awakening, spiritual quickening from deep within us right now. Begin to speak right now and issue decrees concerning your expectation of the day. The day is commanded to be blessed, commanded to be a day of testimonies. All through this day, encounters on every side. In the name of Jesus, encounters on every side. In the name of Jesus, encounters on every side. Thank you, mighty God. And blessed be your holy name. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus, we have prayed. Every declaration you have made answers on your behalf. This day, there shall be no evil report. This day shall be loaded with testimonies. This day shall be loaded with encounters. We are in this post-resurrection visitation season. Each one of us shall be visited. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be in Jesus' precious name. You believe God, say loud, amen. amen. It is done in Jesus' precious name. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together, surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Congratulations, somebody as you go. Be blessed. Don't forget, we are gathered this evening for the second day of our week of spiritual emphasis, 6 p.m. across our zones. God bless you.